Welcome to another episode of Culture Shock. My name is Sean Galloway, the president of ProX Safety. For this topic, I'd like to share with you something that we in ProX Safety have developed that's called the Chemistry of Safety Culture Excellence. And this model represents to us some of the key components of a culture that's focusing on occupational organizational excellence. Now, certainly we target this primarily at safety. What I would encourage you to do as you're listening to this topic is think about how these elements apply to other areas in your operational performance. Number one, focus. Do we have a strong sense of shared focus? Do we have organizational alignment? If I were to walk to any individual in your organization and ask them, what are we focusing on in safety, quality, production? would they tell me the most important thing? Do we have organizational alignment that we're all focusing on the most important thing? One of the other ways to figure that out is walk up to people and ask them, what's the most likely thing to get you injured here? What you'll find out with that question is what their perception about the probability of risks might be in your organization. Now, here's, a here's an opportunity for you to find out how focused the organization is because generally nine times out of 10, if you ask 50 people that question, you're gonna get 20 different answers. Is that really a focus? Next thing to look at is expectations. Do we have clear expectations? If I walk up to any supervisor and ask them, what's your role, responsibility, and expectations in safety? Could they tell me the things necessary to be successful in this area? Do we have clear expectations? In psychology, there's a joke that all disappointment is based on a set level of expectations. Are the expectations clear? Knowing what the expectations are for others in your mind isn't very effective if it's not in their minds as well. Then we start looking at what's being reinforced in the organization. Are we reinforcing precaution taking or are we reinforcing, I wouldn't stop the job for that because that'll put a target on your back. What's currently being reinforced? If we know what we want people to do and we develop those expectations, are they reinforcing the things necessary to meet those expectations or are we reinforcing the wrong things that's creating barriers to achieving safety culture excellence? Then we start looking at what's the shared sense of vulnerability. Do people believe that they're, pardon the term, bulletproof? Do they realize that they can get injured? It's a challenge in a lot of organizations, especially those that go multiple years without any injuries. They start thinking, it's not gonna happen to me, it's gonna happen to the other person. The reality is there's nothing we can do in any industrial setting to completely eliminate all the risks. There's always going to be some risks there. So do people see what those risks are and what they need to do to keep themselves safe? Thus realizing I'm not bulletproof, there is exposure to get injured here. Then we start looking at how effective is the communication. Remember that communication is a process, not a one-time event. Communication also ha has to have both a sender and a receiver. If we send an information to somebody, in the form of an email and they don't open or read it, did communication really happen? Communication is something that happens on the receiver's end. We have to keep that in mind. Now, how effective is the communication? Again, if I walk up to any of your individuals in your organization and ask them, what was the topic of last month's safety discussion? Or what were the key takeaways from the last meeting that we had about safety? Could they recite that? If I walk up to any employee and say, Tell me some of the details of last year's previous events, near misses or, or more severe injuries. Could they tell me enough detail that provides them an understanding of what they can do to keep themselves safe? How effective is communication in your organization? Then we start looking at measurement. What's the perceived context of measurement in your organization? Do people look at measurement of, hey, this is good information that helps me get better? Or do they perceive that it's something that we use to fault find or hold people accountable or place blame? Sometimes one of the key things in measurement to remember is often a precise measurement of the wrong thing isn't as effective as an imprecise measurement of the right thing. Are we precisely measuring the wrong thing? Are we going out trying to gather an understanding of are we working our plan in safety and is our plan working? Sometimes precise measurements don't give you that. You have to go out and kind of look and feel for yourself. Then we start looking at passion in the organization. Here's one of the things that I've found in my experience. To get to a level of sustained excellence and safety or any operational category, there has to be passion at every level of the organization. And this passion is so critical because it works to keep the foundation that you've created over the years in safety or quality 
from crumbling among all the other hyper-competitive priorities people face on a daily basis. When we have shared passion for excellence, this is where we can get to a level of safety culture excellence. And what I find is the bonding agent that keeps all of these elements together is trust. I believe that trust truly is the glue that holds an organization together. How do people feel about the trust? If we don't trust what our focus is, if we don't trust why we're measuring what we're measuring, we're not gonna get to a level of sustainable excellence in safety culture, quality culture, any area of your organization. If you have any comments that you'd like to share, there are several different ways to do so. You can post a comment here at Canadian Occupational Safety Magazine's website. You can email me at info at proactsafety.com or please visit my podcast blog website at www.safetycultureexcellence.com. Leave your comments there. Thank you for all that you do. Have a great week.